I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is Earth Science, Earth Science, Tectonic Plates, Part 2. Okay, now remember that tectonic plates sit upon the molten rock. There's major plates that correspond to the continents. And the continents were formed by the movements of the millions and millions of years of the plates moving. So what we're going to do right here is put a dot. And from that dot, we're going to draw a straight line down. We're going to come back in at the top, and we're just going to go zigzag, zigzag on the left zigzag zigzag on the right straight line and we're going to do a couple of those zigzag straight line zigzag straight line connect now we're going to add straight line straight line straight line we're going to draw straight diagonal straight diagonal straight line straight line straight line connect and we're going to add one, two, three straight lines and leave it floating because we are now going to jump over, draw a straight line out, come down to the bottom. We're going to draw a straight line across, straight diagonal, and connect. We're going to continue this line down a little bit further, straight line over, straight line down, connect, and right at this corner right here we're just going to draw a curved line, curved line, curved line, curved line, and leave it floating. Come to this point, curved line, curved line, curved line, connect, and then draw a curved line, curved line, curved line, straight line up, connect. Right at this point, right down here, we're going to draw a curve line down, curve line up, and connect. We'll explain all this in a minute. Let's get it drawn first. And right here, we're just going to come all the way up to the top and just draw a straight line. Okay. Right here, we can just put another slightly wavy line. Connect. All right. Now, we come back over here to the bottom and we draw a curved line down, slightly curved line over, curved line up, and now we're just going to do curved line, curved line, curved line, connect. All right. What we have going on here is the continental, continental crust. And we are going to draw a straight line, baby triangle, because we are now going to show wavy, wavy line, baby triangle on one end, baby triangle on the other, wavy, wavy line, baby triangle, baby triangle, come up over on this side, wavy line, baby triangle, baby triangle, wavy line, baby triangle, baby triangle. What are we drawing? We are drawing movement. It goes back to the first part where we said the earth is always moving. Well, so are these two important parts of the earth, the continental crust, which is this space, and now we're introducing the oceanic, oceanic crust, because that is also moving. People don't realize straight line, baby triangle, 
slightly curved line baby triangle that not only do we have movement on the continental crust which is the landform part but we also have a very important movement with the oceanic crust okay now I'm gonna put wavy line and I'm gonna put major plates because this is the important part major plates align with align with the continent continent and that's how you figure I'm going to put another wavy line and another wavy line if you have room I'm going to jump over and I'm going to put a wavy line here and another wavy line there because all of the major plates were shaped by these irregular shapes of the Earth's crust remember the lithosphere and the part that moves around on the semi-fluid part that's that asthenosophere asthenosophere We've got to look that up pronunciation with Google okay but I think the main thing that you have to remember is is that the continents were formed by the movement of the plates that there's continental crust which is the earthy part but there's also the oceanic crust which is the ocean part it took millions and millions of years to do it but it did do it all right let's see how we're going to color this in once again I'm going to take my red and I'm just going to color in all of these baby triangles because once again even on this space or this diagram the important thing to remember is movement that the earth is always moving the plates are always moving they might you can't feel it but they definitely are going somewhere someplace next I'm going to take my green and color in this space this space and this space I'm going to take a beige and color in this space and I'm going to take my brown and I'm going to loop-de-loop -loop this part of the crust I'm going to loop-de-loop -loop this space this is like a diagram if you cut it in half this is what the continental crust would be like and I'm going to take my orange because my orange is going to give you a little bit of the brown forming into loop-de-loop -loop. I'm going to stop right there because I'm going to blend my blue but this is all continental crust okay then this is also continental crust I'm going to take my orange and move it across now if you slice the earth you wouldn't necessarily see lines delineating the different stratas or different parts but we do know that that is something that does move into one to the other so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blue and kind of go over the continental crust space with my blue oceanic crust to symbolize that the movement can go from the continental crust right into the oceanic crust and where it does meet up I'm going to take some blue right here and I'm going to draw my orange also because they flow into each other okay so let's see what this looks like all colored in okay on this part two of plate tectonics again the emphasis is on movement 
the continental crust and the oceanic crust coming and blending together and that the major plates align with the continents. Took millions of years, but that's how it happened. Okay, bye-bye.